वेलकम फ्रेंड्स वेलकम टू एट अनादर एपिसोड ऑफ करियर वाइज ऑन योर फेवरेट चैनल प्राइम टीवी फ्रेंड्स इन दिस एपिसोड वी विल बी फोकसिंग ऑन करियर्स थ्रू गोवा पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन बट बिफोर दैट फ्रेंड्स लेट मी टेल यू वॉट डज गोवा पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन स्टैंड फॉर फ्रेंड्स इन अ डेमोक्रेसी टू हेल्प द गवर्नमेंट इन नंबर ऑफ टास्क professionals are recruited by the government in the form of collectors deputy collectors mamladars block development officers and so on and so forth to constitute what we call in popular parlance as the permanent executive or the babus the recruitment of these babus takes place through the goa public service commission friends goa public service commission is a body duly constituted under the constitution of india to recruit personnel for the state of goa if it is to recruit personnel for the union government it is union public service commission but under articles 318 to 320 gpsc has got the mandate to recruit personnel for the posts under the government of goa now dear friends you must be wondering what post does gpsc recommend candidates to one thing our candidates have to know is that the gpsc is not a body to select candidates the gpsc is a body to recommend candidates dear friends to recommend these candidates are recommended to the personnel department of the government who later does the selection so dear friends the goa public service commission was established on 30th may 1988 after goa became a state a year before dr j c almeida was its first chairman and since then several eminent personalities have donned the portals of this commission right now mr jose manuel norona is the chairperson of the goa public service commission friends you must be wondering exactly to where is the office of this commission in goa situated because the addresses are extremely important for one to know and to want to visit if one wants to do to visit the commission and gauge for oneself what your minist voluminous task is conducted by the commission the commission is located on the first floor of the edc building at dadavidya road in panjim and as was told a minute back it recommends personnel for group a and group b services of the government through either competitive exams or personality tests or interviews recently the goa public service commission has switched over to online examinations and has partly done away with the pen paper exams what does this mean initially the goa public service commission used to have exams on pen paper mode by various competitive exams but now due to technological innovations it has gone to the technological route and it has started the online exams professionals like doctors engineers architect professors in colleges then the commercial tax officers are all recruited through these exams the qualifications for this post are prescribed by the goa public service commission but dear friends where do you get this or where can you access this no doubt there is a website of the goa public service commission but also if you are newspaper savvy you can browse through or go through the local dailies to see the ads of goa public service commission which come on the first friday of every month normally and if there are more vacancies which accrue then they put it on the subsequent fridays but normally it is the first friday of every month the goa public service commission puts up the ads for filling up of the posts in various government offices and departments and institutions 
द नॉलेज ऑफ कोकणी इज मैंडेटरी फॉर ईच एंड एवरी पोस्ट बट फॉर सम पोस्ट इट इज रिलैक्सड इन सुपर स्पेशलिटी कैटेगरीज फॉर एग्जाम्पल इन मेडिकल कॉलेज वेर इन वी डोंट हैव फाइंड पर्सनैल इन द स्टेट ऑफ गोवा इन सम केजेस एंड नॉलेज ऑफ मराठी इज डिजायरेबल द गोवा पब्लिक सर्विस कमीशन रिक्रूट्स पर्सनैल फॉर सिविल सर्विसेस एंड गोवा पुलिस सर्विसेस नाउ यू मस्ट हैव हर्ड ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर एंड मामलादार द ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर एंड मामलादार दे आर द फलक्रम दे आर एट द वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पोस्ट इन द एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन सेटअप द ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर एंड द मामलादार एंड द असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ सिविल सप्लाईज कम इन द सबॉर्डिनेट कार्ड ऑफ द गोवा सिविल सर्विस ना वट डू आई मीन बाय द सबॉर्डिनेट कार्ड द सबॉर्डिनेट कार्ड मीन्स दैट द ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर्स द मामलादार्स एंड द असिस्टेंट डायरेक्टर ऑफ सिविल सप्लाईज दे मैन द ऑफिस फॉर द पोस्ट इन दिस वेरियस तालुका लेवल सेटअप्स ना फॉर एग्जाम्पल डियर फ्रेंड्स यू मस्ट बी नोइंग दैट इन गोवा वी हैव फोर्टी ब्लॉक्स सो फोर्टी कॉन्स्टिट्यूएंसीज सो फोर्टी ब्लॉक्स वी हैव फॉर ईच ब्लॉक दर इज ईच तालुका सो टू से देर आर टूल्व तालुकास इन गोवा एंड फॉर ईच तालुका देर इज अ ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर नाउ दिस ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर सिट्स एट द तालुका हेडक्वार्टर्स दिस ब्लॉक डेवलपमेंट ऑफिसर इज रिस्पॉन्सिबल टू लुक आफ्टर द वेरियस एडमिनिस्ट्रेटिव सेटअप इन द रूरल एरियाज ऑफ द ब्लॉक फॉर एग्जाम्पल वी हैव इन गोवा around 190 panchayats and all these panchayats come under the block development officers purview so the block development officers are the pinnacle for administration at the grassroots level they have a direct connect with the grassroots society so the block development officers requires a graduation a bare minimum graduation is required to enable to become a block development officer now the examination for the block development officer and the mamladar card are jointly taken the mamladar for instance as french would know it is the executive magistrate the mamladar is called the executive magistrate in a taluka so likewise we have 12 talukas so we have 12 mamladars one in each taluka but due to the increase in the workload due to several increase in the workload of the administrative setup and uh, so many other functions like the elections and so on and so forth each taluka has got more than one mamladars so the main mamladar and there will be a number of joint mamladars of the same cadre who will man each and every taluka level headquarters so we have 12 talukas so for each taluka there is one mamladar besides that you must have heard of the civil supplies department the civil supplies department for instance is the department to supply the public distribution system we know of the ration system recently we have got the new cards electronic cards the electronic cards are given by the civil supplies department now in civil supplies department there is a post called the assistant director of civil supplies for all these cadres there is one common examination held for the post of bdo and mamladar there is a competitive exam held now the competitive exam is held so as to enable the commission to shortlist the candidates for the interview stage now dear friends in order to have this exam a screening examination is conducted and the screening examination is just to enable the commission to get the desired number of candidates for the interviews now dear friends at this stage you should know one thing that for the bdo and mamladar the marks of the screening exam are not carried forward to the interview stage this marks only determine who the candidates who will be eligible for the interview stage 
which will be conducted by the commission at a subsequent date but at this stage the friends should know that in order to become a bdo one needs to have a graduation as the qualification <laughs> but for a mamladar or a joint mamladar one needs to have besides graduation a graduate degree in law that is an llb degree because the mamladar handles number of cases pertaining to mutation and uh, land disputes and so on and so forth he also is a, a authority under the mahajani act and so on and so forth so the workload of mamladar involves legal permutations so in order to have these legal permutations the commission sees that a mamladar is a candidate with a law degree along with his other degree but now dear friends you must be knowing that in goa we have two law colleges so if you are interested in becoming a mamladar you can directly after your plus 2 stage that is the 12th standard directly go and join the law college which will be giving you a 5 years honors program degree so you will be uh, you will be eligible to become a mamladar so what are these uh, papers for the screening exam the paper 1 is more of a comprehensive type of paper which includes among others essay general knowledge general awareness history geography of goa uh, and logical reasoning then the paper 2 consists of constitution of india then criminal procedure code the civil procedure code the limitation act the evidence act the representation of people's act 1950 the land revenue code essential commodities act the mamladar court act the agricultural tenancy act the land revenue code the devasthan act regulation cinema cinematography and minor and mineral concession rules so all these forms the pa paper 2 so paper 1 and paper 2 determine your ranking in order to be eligible for the interviews for this subordinate cadre of the mamladar and the joint mamladar and the assistant director of civil supplies one thing is certain dear friends one has to have a social outlook one has to have a social outlook one has to have a crave for serving the society a craze for serving the society because when you will be a mamladar or you will be a bdo dear friends you should just not ignore people or insult people because in goa also we have certain number of people who don't know the nitty gritties of administration so the mamladar is the person who is the first direct authority or the bdo in a village area the people come across so if the people are not given a very positive outlook and attitude the people will turn against this authorities and they will have no faith in these authorities so dear friends you all are enthusiastic to become mamladars and bdos and at this juncture we will take a small break and we will meet you after a short time welcome back friends dear friends on this episode we are discussing the various careers one can have through our goa public service commission just to refresh your memory dear friend before the break we were talking about exams the competitive exams which are taken to shortlist candidates for the bdo as well as the joint mamladar stroke mamladar stroke assistant director of civil supplies which form the subordinate cadre of the goa civil service now the interview stage the interview stage for this mamladar stroke video is a very important stage because it is the make or break stage because the marks for the earlier written exam are not carried forward they are just screening it can be an online exam as well it can be a pen paper but by and large the goa public service commission has shifted to an online exam so the interviews will then determine the rankings and there are reservations no doubt there are reservations 
for various categories like the scheduled caste the scheduled tribes the obcs as per the notifications issued by the state government from time to time and interested students may definitely get in touch with the respective authorities or as was just told the ads which come in the local dailies the either the english daily or the vernacular daily on the first friday of every month so dear friends this is about the mamladar exam and the video exam now dear friends you must be wondering how the recruitment is done for posts of assistant professors in colleges now we have a number of colleges which are the government colleges the government colleges are based in khandola they are based in kepe they are sang sagkelim bodda margaon and uh, there is one more at perne the soirobanath ambi college at perne so these five colleges which are arts commerce science colleges besides that we have the music college the goa college of music we have the goa college of art we have the goa college of pharmacy the goa dental college the goa medical college the goa college of architecture and the goa engineering college so all these colleges which are just mentioned now the recruitment of professionals these are professional peoples but they are in the teaching cadre so it may be an engineer in an engineering college or it may be a doctor in a medical college or a pharmacy postgraduate in a pharmacy college or a music postgraduate in a music college or and so on and so forth has to have the aicte norms in order to be eligible for a gpsc post besides that he needs to have a certain percentage maybe 55% if if it is a non professional college like the arts commerce science college and the music college and the home science college also the person needs to have passed the national eligibility test which is conducted by the ugc through cbsc or the national eligibility test or the state eligibility test for science post graduates which is conducted on behalf of the ugc by the csir that is the council for scientific and industrial research so all these uh, posts are re recommended by the gpsc to the personnel department for further Uh, task of uh, recruiting candidates and they are interviews are conducted interviews sometimes the candidates are more to shortlist the candidates the commission may also have an online exam so be it the goa engineering college the goa medical college and uh, other non professional colleges the recruitment takes place through the gpsc besides that you must be knowing that we have the commercial taxes department which gives so much of revenue to the state we have we know we know something of a term called the vat the value added tax the commercial taxes department the excise department sometimes the recruitment of commercial tax officer takes place through the gpsc even the excise officers sometimes recruitment takes place through gpsc but by and large these people have to have graduation they have to have minimum graduation because the recruitment uh, of the posts which are group a and group b are done by the gpsc the recent announcement of the government to have a staff selection board or a commission to recruit personnel for group c and group d now dear friends in government there is group a group b group c and group d officials the group a and the group b are the officials who are the people who man the system they are the executing authorities so in group a and group b the recruitment is done with the help of the constitutional body called the goa public service commission the goa public service commission has a blue ribbon exam it's a very very important exam the goa public service Com Com commission conducts a very very important exam called the junior grade exam this junior grade exam or many people call it a deputy collector exam in common parlance the junior grade exam is to recruit or recommend candidates for the government for the junior grade posts the junior grade post in the goa administration of the goa civil service and 
also the junior grade post of the goa police service now let me be very very clear and tell you what these posts are all about the junior grade post in the goa civil service their nomenclature means the posting will be under secretary deputy collector deputy director of administration okay so these are the posts or the chief officer of a small min of a group b municipality a group c municipality so all these posts which are just uh, told to you are recruited through the gpsc by the recommendation process now in order to appear for this exam the candidate has to be a graduate a degree holder now this is a generalist exam the junior grade exam of the goa civil service is a generalist exam now what is meant by the word generalist just a minute back we had told you about the goa public service commission recruitment process for professionals doctors engineers pharmacists music people and so on and so forth but here the recruitment is for the generalist post now generalist post means goa administration has got around 90 to 100 departments ranging from agriculture health industry education mines information publicity and so on and so forth now in all these offices the recruitment of the junior grade officers or the group 2 officers is done through this exam now in order to be eligible one needs to be a degree holder now a degree holder can be in any faculty he can be a degree holder of art stream or science stream or a commerce stream or he can be an engineering graduate or even he can be a medicine graduate so there is no limit or you can be even pharmacy graduate a fine art graduate a music graduate a law graduate so under the sun he mandatory qualification in order to be eligible for this exam is a graduate a pass there is no percentage as such recommended but he has to pass the graduate exam he has to be fluent in konkani and he is desirable that he has to be a marathi language also you should know now this gpsc uh, exam called a junior grade exam which is the mother of all exam so to say as far as the recruitment of candidates to the junior grade officers because these junior grade officers in due course of time can be also elevated to the indian administrative service so the ias cadre you must have heard goa is a part of the agmut cadre that is the arunachal goa mizoram union territory cadre so in due course of their time with promotion these people can also be elevated to the agmut cadre and they become ias promotees so at this stage the candidate should know that they have to prepare for this exam very very well because these exams the scores of the written exam are carried forward this is exactly the opposite of the earlier exam of bdo and mamlada the scores of the written exam are carried forward carried forward to the interview stage now many children students wonder how to become an officer because there are many uh, among us with different backgrounds a doctor for example engineer who want to become a part of the administrative setup and want to face challenges in life and see the inside part of the administration from a very sh uh, short quarters so in order to know this he or she has to appear for this exam now this written exam the number of candidates for this written exam is huge because it is a generalist exam where people from all backgrounds they can appear for it so uh, nearly around 3000 to 4000 students they sit for this exam and there are four papers in this exam the written exam con con conducted for 250 marks in part a there is the general intelligence reasoning and numerical aptitude for 50 marks in part b there is basics of indian constitution governance and administration for 75 marks part c consists of general knowledge and current affairs for 75 marks and part d is english for 50 marks so total comes to 250 marks out of this some are of the mcq type 
and some are subjective descriptive wherein you will have to write uh, in certain number of words to the questions specified so once this exam of 250 marks is held then the candidates will be shortlisted for various categories the general category will have a different cut off score the sc category will have a different cut off score st obc freedom fighters and so on and so forth so all these categories the cut off scores will be put up on the website of the gpsc and the candidates will then be called for the interview stage at the commission's office in panji so once the interview stage is over the merit list is constituted and merit list is of the total combined score of the written exam as well as the interview then the candidate list is recommended by the gpsc to the personnel department of the goa government which in turn does the necessary modalities and it is the duty of the state administration of goa to take a final call on the number of candidates which have finally to be selected the commission list can either be summarily rejected or partly rejected or even sometimes fully rejected so the commission is a recommending body the commission is not a selecting body this is the same case with the union public service commission but by and large the commission's recommendations are considered by the state administration so dear friends if you are interested in a career in administration you can try your luck you can prepare well you can prepare very very well because all these rules and regulations and other details come on the website of the gpsc this exam the junior grade exam also recruit sometime personnel for the goa police service now goa police service we know that uh, there is a post called the deputy superintendent of police which is having manning control over a certain subdivision in a district so both these personnel are recruited through the goa public service commission so this was it about the careers through gpsc dear friends your suggestions your queries your clarifications your doubts are welcome so what you have to do is just to get in touch with the prime tv on the email address which is right now being focused on the screen as well as the whatsapp number this whatsapp number and the email number will make your task easier to get in touch with the prime tv so for until next time dear friends keep watching prime tv keep watching career wise and have a certain road map in life for your career thank you